Hello guys, Paco here. I'm really happy, not just because I'm doing this video, but also because I had a really nice dinner. So I'm really chilling out. Uh, but yeah, also I'm learning game development using Unity. I'm doing this as a hobby, so yeah, I don't have any game in my mind, anything defined yet. So, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm really enjoying the process of learning. And uh, what I'm learning, I'm trying to share it through the videos. So yeah, maybe you can learn something from this. In this video, I'm going to share with you uh, how to use the gizmo and the arrows in your keyboard in order to move your camera in your 3D scene. So uh, also this video is part of a video that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this, this is a short version of that. Uh, if you want to see the long video, just click on the link that is going to appear around here in the in the, um, in the in the screen. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Okay, so here we have our 3D Unity scene. We are going to add a 3D object. We're going to click here, game object, 3D object, cube. We got our precious cube appearing here in our 3D scene. Okay, so the first thing to see here is the, the gizmo. The gizmo, it tells you the coordinates of your perspective. So we have uh, an X, Y, Z perspective. And as you can see here in the cube, when you click on the cube, you are going to have also some coordinates. Let's move uh, a bit this uh, perspective. So here you get from the cube three arrows, the red, the blue, and this yellow. We can see that the red corresponds to the X axis. The yellow corresponds to the Y axis and the blue corresponds to the Z axis. So when you click one of these arrows, it gives you directly the perspective of that coordinate. So when you click on the gizmo on the X axis, you're going to get the perspective of the Y, Z plane. If you want to navigate through the perspectives of your environment, you can click keep on clicking on the arrows in the gizmo and you're going to get the different perspectives. Here in the Y, for instance, we can see that you get the perspective from above the, the cube. Let's go back to the X axis. And if you want to go come out from this perspective, what you have to do is to click on this small cube. You have to click shift and then click on the small cube and you're going to come back again to the perspective view. So now we are back here in the 3D perspective view. Another view that you can get from the, this gizmo is uh, when you click here in the box, you're going to get what is called the orthographic mode. This is a kind of strange view. It uh, takes out the 3D perspective. I think it's not totally recommended that you do this. So if you end up clicking here and going to the this view, you can go back to the normal perspective mode by uh, by clicking this, uh, by doing shift click on the on the cube, and then you go back. So that was it from changing your perspective and uh, your view using the gizmo. So now let's move to navigating through the three D scene environment. So now let's do the next, which is going to move around your three D scene using different tools here in Unity. So for moving, the first thing you can do is using your normal keyboard arrows. So if you press your right arrow, you're going to move to the right. The left, you are going to move to the left. And if you press the arrows up and down, you're going to do a zoom in and zoom out in the 3D environment. Quick interruption here. I realized that I did a mistake while explaining this. Moving the arrows up and down, it's not a zoom in or zoom out. It's just moving your camera forwards and backwards. So anytime I'm doing, I'm saying zoom in or zoom out, don't, uh, don't listen to that. It's just moving the camera forwards and backwards. Which you can do the same by using your mouse. You can do scroll up or scroll down and then you're going to be able to zoom in and zoom out from the 3D perspective. By using the keyboard arrows, it can feel kind of slow uh, navigating through your 3D scene. So what you can do is press the shift and then you're going to do, uh, do it faster. Uh, it can be uncontrolled, so be careful with this. Uh, you can go really, really far away from your 3D scene. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, faster to do this in this way. So that is what is called the arrow movement. 